It was a very emotional night also because of the Len Goodman tribute. I did talk to Jenna a little bit about the vision that she created, but for you as a pro, what was it like getting everyone back together for such a special night? Uh, it just made it all real. You know, when we heard about his passing, it's it's hard because once you off season, we we do take like we have our own lives and we concentrate so much and focus on ourselves that I think this is for the first time like finishing the dance, which is a stunning dance, and kind of like looking at that empty seat. It all of a sudden made it real that he's never going to be there. We'll never hear those amazing comments from him that he always managed to put it in such a way that you appreciate and respect and look forward to and like from land to 10 it's, it's 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 a special moment seven like all of the stuff that he says he used to say uh, or he was saying it really shaped the show what it is today you know and i think it is a huge voidance of him not being there and i think for the first time it's like it hits you like finally like you realize oh this this is how it's going to be from now on yeah, it's um, it's very sad, you know. It's a it's a beautiful story, but it's a very sad, sad story. He's missed, yeah, very missed. What was it like actually being there in the ballroom tonight? The atmosphere and getting all the pros back together for such a special dance. Such a special moment in time. We're going to remember that for many, many years. Len is an icon. He's a legend. He's a legend not only in just Dancing with Stars, but in the ballroom world. So. Um, to, to get to give him this beautiful send-off and the package that played, it was just complete silence while we were dancing and it was beautiful. Jenna and Val did an amazing job and it was so beautiful that Len's wife was actually in the audience to witness it and I think, we, you know, that, that this is a moment that we're going to cherish for the rest of our lives, even when the show is over. And we've seen Len on camera, but behind the scenes I know he was just as funny and just as sweet and charming. Is there a story you can share with us that maybe was so special to you that we didn't see on TV? Yeah, Len is definitely very different off camera. And every show I would see him, we would talk and he would always say, you're my favorite, Sash. You're doing a great job. And he was just, and then he would just walk, back, walk away. Um, and just, you know, he was a judge and a friend and completely different person when the cameras were off and everyone loved him. and. You knew when Len was in the building. To me, Len was a very, he was a very professional constant, right? So like we all had up and downs and we had slip ups and I certainly slipped up with Len also. But you know, he and I went, went, went at it in a, in a, in a professional, passionate way. Not the in, love of ballroom. For the love of whatever we were doing at the time. And um, it wasn't, but it wasn't, anything but that moment so when we were outside of this ballroom and I did play golf with Len as well you know you do spend so much time that is completely unrelated to your job you know the person that he is I'm gonna say because he was so constant on, on in his work and because he's so real he was the exact same Len outside he was a constant the advice that he, he would give would be very fundamental and straight to the point and if you could see that everyone is basically saying the same thing in different words he would give us same advice just voice it in a way that would be memorable to you uh, keep it simple no frills no riffraff everything fundamentals always better I literally coach that way whether it comes from him or we come we cut from the same cloth a little bit um, I am also that guy, and so for me, Len's memory is a big deal, and to be a part of this was a, certainly a big deal for me. The way this was, every movement was perfect, every intonation was perfect, the way it was shot was excellent. Uh, everybody really did a great job, and I think everybody put stepped up a little extra just because it was in Len's memory. So it wasn't really a, a job, per se, it was a little bit more. I grew up watching these dancers on my TV, in the ballroom professionally, so to watch, the, to dance with them on the same floor was a huge honor for me. Um, but Val and Jenna did an incredible job choreographing it, and it was just so special. It was simple, yet so special. So In the press room, we were all on the verge of tears. It was very silent. I know that Len's uh, wife was in the audience. Did you guys get a chance to speak with her at all? Like, what did, how did she react? She was very grateful for this number, and she was very just touched 
in general, I think there was not a dry eye on the dance floor. I think we were all just sobbing and it was very difficult to hold our tears back. But it was very special. And I have been asking all of the pros, you know, we've seen so much of Len on camera. We've seen him in rehearsals, but what's a memory that you can share that maybe stands out to you that we didn't see on TV? Honestly, so Pasha, my husband and I, we got here a little later than everyone else. But at the same time, I feel like no matter when we would bump into him in the hallway or whatever it was, he's just like this big teddy bear. And whatever you see on camera, yes, he was strict, but he did keep the ballroom, like, ballroom. Literally ballroom, yeah. Very technical. And outside this field, he's just a goofy, amazing, humble, beautiful human being. So to see two sides of him was really special too. When I danced with Joe Josiwa, he came into our rehearsal. He was our judge for that week. Um, and he was working with us on a redemption dance. And we had Argentine tango. And <clears throat> I'd never had Len come in and be my judge on one of those uh, weeks before. I've been with Bruno, I've been with Carrie Ann, um, I've been with Derek, but I'd never been with Len and that was the first time. And I was not expecting it, but he got in and he was like, girls, I want you to just have some passion and some spice behind your dancing. And he started Argentine tangoing by himself across the floor and like the joy on his face, but he had this like cheeky grin the whole time. It was a moment I'll never forget. And I remember he left and Jojo was like, what just happened? Like, did he do that for us? And I was like, he really just did that for us. It was so incredible.